Hey guys, I Ross here. Welcome back to another Tara's Land video. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about Fire Island. Now, if you haven't experienced the PvP on Tara's Land just yet, I do recommend you try it. It's open majority of the day. And today, or at least yesterday, uh, Fire Island was the daily PvP battleground. Now, what you're seeing in the background, guys, is obviously the battleground at its worst. And I mean this sincerely, it's a really good battleground, but at its worst, it is very, very quick, very, very straightforward. You can see we're rushing towers, just kill towers, go to the next tower, then kill the main base, like you would on a MOBA, kill the towers, then the, then the, the centre building, and that's you winning the game. So it's a bit like that, but it could be so much more. I really feel like this battleground is wasted right now because of the mechanics in place that let you do this, that let you just rush the enemy base, take the graveyards or whatever, down the towers as fast as possible, and then go for the headquarters, destroy that, and you win the game. And that's nine times out of ten what happens on this battleground for me. Every time I go on it, one of the teams will rush the other team's headquarters and destroy it. And that is literally the entire game. You get a couple of people who steer back to defend, but usually they get nuked down by the whole team. You can see how quickly this one tower is going down right now. We're very close to winning this game in just under three minutes. It's actually ridiculous how fast you can complete this battleground. Now, in this video, guys, what I want to do is give you some of my suggestions how this can be improved upon. Now, a little background when it comes to MMO PvP for myself. I did play World of Warcraft from literally the start, vanilla World of Warcraft till Mists of Pandaria in 2014. And I was mainly a RP slash PvP player. I did a bit of role play here and there and everywhere. And I did mainly PvP. Wasn't much of a raider, but I do sort of partake on raiding on Taras land, but I didn't really do it much in world of warcraft it was all about pvp for me arenas pvp pvp battlegrounds so that's where this sort of suggestive nature comes from so anyway guys without further ado we'll get into how i think this map can improve massively make it a massively better experience for all people involved in the battleground itself so like down below guys make sure you do subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna cross over to a different game i did in this map where the game actually lasted much longer we didn't just well we tried to rush it at the start of the game but it didn't go to plan and the game lasted about five times longer than it normally would have anyway let's get into it so guys, this is the PvP Battleground layout, as seen from the PvP menu in-game. I took a screenshot literally before I started recording this video, that's why the matchmaking is still live. Now, you can see it's literally like a MOBA sort of layout. You've got a BSC by side, you've got three arrows sort of going the ways, then you've got towers in the middle, at either side you've got... Um, sort of bases like lumbar mill sort of areas either side behind the towers they're like uh, workshops and you've got rideable towers uh, on the walls of each base and then you've got all these yellow icons which are pve objectives so two are graveyards and the rest of them are sort of things you can attack yourself so you've got a big boss at the top boss at the bottom you've got little ones at the sides and in the middle and you've got crystals you can tear you can break and we'll get into that uh, soon but currently what people will do they'll follow either the top or the bottom arrow or sometimes the middle one and they'll rush straight through to one of the first two towers then the the last tower and then the nexus in the very center and that'll be it that'll be the whole battleground people will rush these places kill the towers either side will do it and there'll not be much interaction between either side whatsoever unless a stray gets caught in the crossfire occasionally like you'll see shortly in the background, will try and do this and both teams will go the same way and they'll clash and the rush will be completely ruined and we'll end up in some sort of massive PvP battle, which is absolute insanity when you've got 10v10. I will say that. It's one of the best experiences of this battleground. But there's lots of things on this map specifically I think that could change that would make it a lot more interesting. I think they've wasted the opportunity of this map by making the towers, for instance, destroyable straight away and some of the objectives completely useless 
and the crystals and stuff, which I'm going to get into now. So let's first of all talk about the crystals. Okay, so you kill a player, you get a crystal. The little sort of blue circular gemstone. It'll appear above your head of how many you've actually got in the battleground. So you can have one or 15 or 50 if you're lucky. And these have certain uses. So for instance, you can go to the workshops, you can buy upgrades like increased movement speed, increased attack percentage. You can see them now in the background there, a couple of my teammates, even I've got one above my head. You can also go to the workshop and summon a catapult which attacks the towers. Now the catapult costs 15, so it is a team effort. You're not going to get 15 straight away. Now, the, like I say, the ways to get these crystals, you can kill the actual crystal chunks along the bottom of the map, the bottom of the hillside. You can get them from there. You get them from other players, so players will drop them on death, and you get them from the PvE objectives. So there's a couple of bosses, like, sort of sitting around the map, or, like, like mini-boss monsters. You can kill them and pick them up. And then you take these to either the workshop to use, or you can take them to the very centre of the map to the catapult, and I think it takes 50 to activate that, which will then start attacking towers for you. So there's that. But I do feel like there's literally no point in gathering these. A lot of people will just have loads of them, will be running around pvp and and not actually use them. Now, I've occasionally went and summoned the catapult, which then everybody ignores because... They've already rushed the towers themselves. There's no need for a, a catapult to go to the tower when you can kill it yourself in your team of three or four people. You know, gradually, if you've got a healer to keep you all alive, then the tower's just completely useless against you. This is an enemy tower here on the background, and it's just not doing enough to her. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I do feel like the catapult could have maybe more attack, faster speed, or more HP. And I do feel like... It could be improved if players were unable to attack the towers. The, it would completely negate the Russian aspect of the game. We wouldn't be able to rush a tower and destroy it because you have to have a catapult to do it. That would then promote protecting the catapult and actually pushing towards the towers to destroy them, make it objective-based rather than just who's got the most DPS to destroy the tower the fastest. I think that would be very beneficial. So let's just for argument's sake say towers are invulnerable to player attack. This would make it so that objectively you have to summon your catapults to destroy them. You have to follow them around. You have to actively gather crystals and not lose crystals to the enemy team. You'd also have to defend against their catapults and defend yours simultaneously, which would make it a bit more structured as a battleground a bit more interesting now don't get us wrong guys i know a lot of people play this game casually they're not full-time pvp as they don't enjoy it as much they do it for the they do it for the daily task and that's about it that's fair enough if you enjoy battlegrounds lasting two or three minutes that's up to you but i myself as a, a core pvp player i would prefer this to last a hell of a lot longer that's just my opinion on the subject and i just feel like if there was actually a full use of all the features of the map, so you've got the PvE objectives that drop crystals, you've got the tower in the centre, you've got the catapults and stuff, if this was brought forward to be the main source of content on the map versus just treating it like a boss battle where the, the towers are the bosses and it's just kill them as fast as possible before the other team does, I feel like it would be a lot better. It would promote the PvP and I, it would be one of the battlegrounds you can actually look forward to. I mean, don't get us wrong, the other two battlegrounds are decent, but this one's potential is potentially skyrocketed if it was forced into the features currently in place. You can see the battle... Going on in the background right now, the red team's pushing where the blue team, and we're sort of stuck. I'm just changing this uh, setting that I forgot to change because I'm targeting the wrong people. But you know what I mean. It would be a lot more interesting. The battles would last a hell of a longer. I think this match, compared to the first one that I posted, lasted 12 minutes. 12 minutes is a long time. I'm not asking it to last hours or days like the original Alteric Valley did on World of Warcraft. That was a lot more bigger scale, you know what I mean, but this one is just missing its full potential. When you're level 20, you will actually go for the objectives, because at level 20 you can't take on the towers, but we're pushing level 38 here towards level 40. The tower does not do enough damage to a tank to really warrant not doing it that way, and there's no real need to summon all these. 
I think the enemy team on this match actually summoned the catapult and it didn't make it five yards out of the workshop before our team destroyed it. So if catapults had a lot more HP, maybe it's moved a bit more fast, that actually went straight at the tower, didn't stop or anything like that. And you actually had to summon them, you know, summon several of them or whatever, just to destroy the tower and then gradually get to the next tower. Maybe it's made the the length of the battleground a bit longer so there's actually time to do it and not just base it on percentage of the nexus or whatever i really think this battleground could be so much more anyway guys let us know your thoughts down in the comments i don't think they'll change it i don't think they're going to make it uh, last a hell of a lot longer i do think some of the mechanics do need to be changed just for uh, interest in pvp to be peaked or maybe there'll be a new battleground that'll have uh, different mechanics in it something a bit more uh, pvp orientated rather than pve but yeah anyway guys Thanks so much for watching. Love to know your comments down below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Thanks for watching.